Hello friends, welcome in Arsenal Technical Campus, Faculty of Engineering and MBA. Today in Power Electronics, next lecture we learn the uh, VI characteristics of SCI. VI characteristics of SCI. SCR is nothing but silicon controlled a rectifier and its BI characteristics is nothing but voltage versus current characteristics. First of all, I will draw the diagram for BI characteristics or we can say that I will draw the graph for BI characteristics. Here, X axis and Y axis. On X axis voltage is there, voltage is in between anode 2 cathode and on y axis current is there that is the anode current. Now we know in SCR there will be three terminals anode, cathode and gate. Here this, this is uh, for IG is equal to 0 or IG, IG1, IG2 and IG3 that is the gate current. Here break over voltage is there and before this break over voltage this region is called as a forward or this state is called as a forward blocking state forward blocking state. Now this dotted line is called as a transition state. Transition state and, and this current which is very high and in this case SCR is in on state called as a on state. Now here this current is called as a holding current and this is the latching current. Latching current is always higher than holding current. These characteristics are called as a forward characteristics. Forward characteristics. And here called as a reverse characteristics reverse characteristics in reverse characteristics of the SCR are same as that of the diode I will draw the reverse characteristics this is the reverse breakover voltage and very small amount of current flow called as a I0 or this current is called as a reverse saturation current and also called as a leakage current. Reverse saturation current is also called as a leakage current which is where flow in very small amount. Now I will explain this characteristics again. See first of all this why it is called as a VI characteristics because it is the graph of voltage versus current. Hence, it is called as the VI characteristics of the SCR. As voltage is present, which is in between anode to cathode, hence named it as a VAK. And current flowing through SCR is the anode current, which flow from anode to cathode, hence called it as a anode current. These characteristics divided into two parts. First part is forward characteristics. And second part is reverse characteristics. These reverse characteristics are same as that of the diode. No any change will be there. Hence, these are same. Only, I will explain only forward characteristics because these are uh, learned already in diode. Now see forward characteristics. Again these forward characteristics divided into three parts. These forward characteristics divided into three states. First state 
step is forward blocking step second step is transition step Decreasing. Now, here 
one more concept is there that is holding current and latching current. Now, why, what is the holding current and what is the latching current? This holding current is the minimum amount of current that can flow through the ECR and hold the ECR in on state. And latching current, latching current is the minimum amount of current flow through the SCR and latch the SCR in on state. Now, in both the case, from definition we can uh, we can understand in both the case SCR is in on condition. Now, what is the difference between holding and latching current? Holding current hold the SCR in on condition. Latching current latch the SCR in on condition. Second difference is you are Latching current is always higher than holding current. And third difference is where your current goes below the holding current. In this case, yes, you are getting turned off. But when your current goes below the latching current, yes, you are remains in the on condition. It does not turn off. This is the basic difference between holding current and latching current. Now, C break over voltage. This V B O is called as a break over voltage. Now, what is the break over voltage? Break over voltage is nothing but the voltage below that S I R is in off condition. And when your applied voltage is greater than this break over voltage, then S I R goes in on condition. In other words, this break over voltage is also called as a threshold voltage. This is the threshold value required for the turning of the ECR. These are the real characteristics. Now, what are the advantages of the ECR? Basically, your ECR is a high current, high voltage, and high power handling device. Means, in industrial purpose, where we have we need to handle the high power, high current, and high power voltage. At that time, we use the SCR, and uh, also it is used for uh, as a switch when we require automatic switch. In this case, also SCR is used. Then uh, next one is disadvantage. Its main disadvantage is uh, its uh, turning on process is very simple, but to turn off the SCR, we need extra circuit. We can say that SCR turn on method is very simple means it's the one of the advantage of it. But its disadvantage is to turn off SCR we need extra circuitry. We call it as a commutated techniques or commutated methods are required for turning of the SCR. Means we can use class A, class B, class C, class D, class E and class F are the commutated techniques used for turning of the SCR. Now, the next point is, SCR is a unidirectional device, means current flows only in one direction, not in both directions. This is one disadvantage of it. And last point is applications. It is used in level controller, also temperature controller, in battery charger, burger alarm system, emergency light system, etc. are the applications, AC or DC circuit breaker, etc. are the applications of the SCR. Thank you.